issues with the power system and um, uh, when, a, when there's a failure or a blackout, it can either fall into two different islands of generation and load, or if it completely fails, the power system can build two islands. But each island has its own voltage magnitude, voltage angle, and slip frequency. And so, in order to restore the entire system, you have to connect them, tie them together. But if you just do it randomly, there will be a jolt and damage to the system. So you have to synchronize both of the values in order to make sure that there is minimal damage to the system. Currently, the company uh, manually uses a uh, technician goes out to the substation and looks at the synchroscope. A synchroscope gets voltages from both sides of the system and displays zero degrees phase difference. When it points straight up when there's zero degrees phase difference and points straight down when there's 180 degrees phase difference. You want to close at zero degrees phase difference because that means the two voltage waveforms are lined up. It also rotates at the slip frequency, which is the frequency between the two islands. Um, but right now it's manually, so the technician has to drive out there, call back either generation, either generators, and tell them, okay, turn it down, turn it off, and it's a little. And there's also some human error involved because you can't close it right at zero. There's a circuit breaker time delay. It's a big circuit breaker, and so you have to close it at a certain time while the image is rotating. So there is some human error. So they want to do this remotely from the control center at the heart of it. So our program collects the data from the whole entire system, displays it in this GUI, then um, ITC, using their state and network that they already have, send an ARM command to this relay, and the relay will perform the synchronism check to make sure that the systems are lined up, and it will send a closed command to the circuit breaker just at the right time so it will close at exactly 0 degrees.